This is a story that I've been investigating for the last eight months. It involves six women overcoming a lot of fear of retaliation to tell um, very serious stories of sexual misconduct about Les Moonves, one of the most powerful men in television. But it also involves dozens of sources talking about the corporate culture around Les Moonves and raising allegations that he promoted individuals who were the target of a lot of similar allegations. And, you know, we talked to experts who say this is an opportunity to look at how our most important corporate institutions treat vulnerable people coming forward with these kinds of charges because this is a, a set of individuals and a company that has been followed by these allegations for a long time. Anytime you do a story about something this serious, these kinds of allegations, the commitment to fairness is absolute and really important for everyone involved. Uh, and CBS got a very long window in which to respond to every facet of this. And uh, we made sure that every one of those responses was reflected in this story. Uh, this was not the first time this company was facing allegations of, of this type from the press. We talk about how a subset of these charges about the news division at CBS were raised by the Washington Post in recent months and how the reporters at the Post received a lot of threats and a, a really robust campaign to shut down that story. In this case, I have to say, while we received some of that from some of the individuals involved in the story, Mr. Moonves and the CBS Corporation were responsive. And you know, as you've seen in their responses we include in the story, uh, there's a fair degree of contrition that's suggested in Mr. Moonves' statement.